Hey guys, this is Vaiduria here again. Hope you all are doing good and following my sessions. I've been receiving much lovely suggestions and comments till now and thank you so much for that. And today I'm here to cover a session on national accounting as per the request by a bunch of people. Keep watching my videos to learn further more about national accountings. And if you still haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe and show some love. Okay, let's move into the session. A beautiful economy is comprised with so many activities. Such activities are filtered, arranged and structured onto a detailed process known the national accounting. So the national accounting is concerned with the entirety of all economic activities taking place within an economy during a given financial year. But not all the economic activities are concerned within a national accounting, only the productive economic activities are concerned so therefore the production is fundamental within the national accounting process mainly there are three main approaches for the national accounting they are the production approach income approach and the expenditure approach under the production approach the product value is estimated based on the aggregate gross value added or the aggregate gross value of final goods and services of an economy during a given period of time. Under the income approach, the product value is estimated based on the aggregate gross value of primary income generated through the production process by institutional units during a given period of time. Under the expenditure approach, the product value is estimated based on the value of gross expenditure incurred to purchase output or product produced by the economy during the given period of time. The factors that's been taken under each approach to calculate the product value may be different, but the value of the product that's been received in final in each and every approach is the same. So therefore what we could conclude is that the production approach, the income approach and the expenditure approach is equal to each other. Next, I told that not all the economic activities are included within the calculation of national accounting, only the productive economic activities are included or all the goods and services that is produced and designed for the market are been only uh, included within the calculation of the national accounting. The main inclusions within the national accounting are the tangible goods, ownership of dwellings, labor provided in return for a wage and all the goods or services produced and provided free to individual households or collectively to the community by government units are mainly included within the calculation of national accounting. Now let us look at the activities that are excluded from in the, in the calculation of the national accounting. Not all the productive activities are included. There are some productive activities that are excluded under the calculation of national accountings. They are the intangible services for their own final consumptions, examples of cleaning, maintaining, beautification and cooking, etc. Such intangible services are for their own final consumption and it is a productive activity but not included under the calculation of national accounting. And the second productive activity that is excluded is that the natural resources received free of charge. And the third productive activity which is not included under the calculation of national accounting is the natural resources which grow and expand in abundance without any human involvement. And the non-productive activities which are excluded under the a calculation of national accountings are the non-productive market activities such the transfers and the transaction pertaining to selling. And we all know that the economy has enormous economic activities, but only few of us know that such economic activities are owned by a specific unit. Yes, such specific units are termed as the institutional units, an economic unit which owns resources, takes responsibilities and engages in economic activities while maintaining relationships with other institutional units is known as an institutional unit and they are the sole responsibility for the emergence of the economic activities. The institutional units are the non-financial corporation sector, financial corporation sector, general government, household and the non-profit institutions serving households. And in conclusion, 
National accounting provides information in order to evaluate performances of the economy and to understand the manner in which the production is distributed among consumption and investment within an economy. And thereby, this session comes to an end. Hope you guys have got an idea about the phrase of national accounting and a detailed explanation on each approaches to national accounting together with the calculations would be uploaded on my upcoming sessions. Do follow my sessions continuously for a better understanding. Any clarifications and suggestions are highly expected on the comment box. See you all soon with the next session. Thank you.